whispered facts about space. Let's go. While Pluto isn't considered a planet anymore, there may be another planet in our system. Planet Nine. With mathematical support, researchers at Caltech hypothesize there is a Neptune-sized planet, now called Planet Nine the sun from a great distance, well beyond Pluto. Their work suggests Planet Nine could weigh ten times Earth's mass, an orbit twenty times farther from the sun than Neptune. This is all hypothetical, but astronomers are now looking into Planet Nine's existence. Any time you look up at the sky, you are seeing the universe as it was in the past. If we look at an object 50 million light years away, we are seeing what the object looked like 50 million years ago, because that's how long it took the light to travel from the object to our eyes. It would take Usain Bolt running at his highest recorded speed a little over 262 days to trek the distance of Saturn's rings. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on Earth. Scientists have found a void in space one billion miles wide that could be a parallel universe. The void has no matter in it and is 40 times larger than the biggest void previously on record. Although this theory is controversial, some scientists hypothesize that this may be where a parallel universe has crashed into ours, leading to speculations of a multiverse. Some nebulae have night lights made of new stars. Nebulae are made up of gases, so the way we get these psychedelic pictures are from young glowing stars that illuminate them from behind. However, new stars are roughly 6,750 degrees Fahrenheit, so we don't recommend using them as your own personal night light. A black hole the size of one atom has the mass of a large mountain. There is a black hole at the centre of our universe. Our galaxies are called Sagittarius A, with a mass equal to four billion of our suns. Don't worry though, it's so far away from Earth that we don't have to worry about getting sucked in. There are over 500 thousand pieces of space junk floating above the Earth, and they're moving at speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour. It's also true that on average, a bit of debris crashes back to Earth about once a week. It's true that in space, no one can hear you scream to match the energy the sun produces. You would need to light 100 billion tons of dynamite every second. If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh one hundredth of one pound on a comet, meaning you could just jump and you'd start floating off into space. It would take 100,000 years to travel across our galaxy if you were going at the speed of light. The speed of light is equal to 186,000 miles per second. There's a gold-bladed Earth soundtrack around 11 billion miles away. In 1977, NASA launched Voyager and Voyager 2, 
mounted on the side of each spacecraft is a golden record of the sounds that make Earth, Earth. You can listen to the tunes they put on the music track, which includes greetings, music and nature sounds. Of the stars, galaxies, and planets only make up 4% of the universe. The other 96% of the galaxy, scientists cannot explain yet. It's made out of things that are invisible or simply incomprehensible, like dark matter and dark energy. Scientists predict our sun has 5 billion years left to live. However, humans most likely only have one billion years. When stars die, they will explode into supernovas after they crush under their own gravity. In its final stages of life, the sun will heat and expand to the point of our oceans boiling and our Earth becoming too hot to inhabit. If you put your finger over a star in the sky, you are preventing photons that have travelled to Earth undisturbed for millions of years from finally entering your eye. Photons are a basic unit of light. They are made in the centre of a star and will travel for millions of years before they reach Earth. So when you block out a star in the sky with your finger, you're really blocking one million year old photons from entering your retina. That's so cool. Do you know where the coldest place in the known universe is? About the hottest? Well, they're both right here on Earth. Well, they were. The coldest recorded temperature in the universe was created here in a lab on Earth. Minus 273 degrees Celsius, or absolute zero. And the Large Hadron Collider has also managed to create the oddest recorded temperature since the universe began with the Big Bang. 5.5 trillion degrees Kelvin. In around 4.5 billion years, the Milky Way is expected to collide with the Andromeda Galaxy our closest galactic neighbour to form a giant elliptical galaxy. Did you know that all of the planets in our solar system can fit in between the Earth and the Moon with about 2,700 miles to spare? There is a planet in our galaxy where the temperature during the day can reach over 1,000 degrees Celsius, and it possibly rains molten glass horizontally at around 4,500 miles per hour. So, we know that light takes a long time to travel through space. Well, there are actually some parts of the universe we can't see because the light from there hasn't reached us yet. Soon, the James Webb Space Telescope will allow us to explore galaxies that were formed at the very beginning of the universe and observe stars forming planetary systems. The biggest star known to man is UY Scuti, which has a radius about 1,700 times larger than the sun. There's a rogue, supermassive black hole speeding through space at around 5 million miles per hour. The Voyager 1 spacecraft will likely outlive planet Earth itself. The probe was launched back in 1977 in order to study Jupiter and Saturn and is now on its second mission out of the solar system. It will now drift through interstellar space forever. The Earth will probably be vaporised by the sun in a few billion years. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 will probably still be moving through space. Venus looked pretty much 
much exactly like Earth does now, around 2 billion years ago. Venus today is a living hell. It has a suffocating carbon dioxide atmosphere, and there's almost no water vapour. Temperatures there reach 462 degrees Celsius. But climate modelling has suggested that ancient Venus may have had oceans and a dry land pattern just like ours. Various factors, including the water-to-land ratio and the idea that clouds potentially shielded Venus from strong sunlight, suggest that the planet may once have been habitable. <coughs> it's possible for two pieces of the same metal to actually fuse together if they touch in outer space. This is known as cold welding and it occurs because the atoms of both individual bits do not know that they belong to different pieces of metal, so they join together. This doesn't happen on Earth because there is always air or water separating the pieces. There are rogue planets that have been knocked out of orbit, just chilling out in the universe, and they could do the same to another planet. These rogue planets do not orbit a star, so it's pretty hard to glimpse them. In fact, we don't actually know if there are any nearby at all. Statistically speaking, however, they are not close enough to be a concern. And really, we're a pretty small target given the size of the solar system. Dark matter is believed to be responsible for 85% of gravity in the universe. And no one knows what it is or how it works. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson, dark matter is the longest standing unsolved mystery in modern astrophysics. Indeed, it might not even be matter. Basically, the amount of gravity in the universe doesn't quite equal the amount of observable mass. The planets, the stars, the galaxies the comets, the black holes, and the dark clouds. So scientists propose there is a large measure of unobservable or dark mass in the universe, which is the source of all that gravity. According to quantum mechanics, there's a small chance the entire universe could spontaneously disappear and never come back. Nice bit of positivity before bed. This isn't a fact per se, but have you considered the possibility that we've already sent a message to an alien race in the distant past, and it's still making its way to them? <laughs> the sun makes up 99.8% of the mass of the solar system. There's a gas cloud in the constellation of Aquila that holds enough alcohol to make 400 trillion trillion pints of beer. We found over a thousand planets outside our solar system just in the last 20 years. It takes a photon on average 170,000 years to travel from the core of the sun to the surface. Saturn's rings sort of vanish every now and then. Once every 14 to 15 years, Saturn's rings are edge on as seen from Earth. They're so thin relative to how big Saturn is that they seem to disappear when this happens. Saturn actually has an extra ring that was only discovered in 2009. The ring starts about 6 million kilometres away from Saturn and goes on for 12 million kilometres, making it as wide as almost 300 Saturns side by side. There's an asteroid called Chiriclo in our solar system that has rings like Saturn. Solar energy reaches Earth's surface in an hour and a half than we used in the whole of 2001. If you've 
fell into a black hole, you'd get stretched out like spaghetti. Undisturbed footprints would last forever on the moon, as there's no wind or water to erode them. There is a hexagonal cloud at Saturn's north pole. It's a six-sided jet stream that spans 30,000 kilometers across. A star was recently discovered that had been lost in the glare of a supernova for 21 years. Dung beetles can use the Milky Way to navigate. Birds, seals and humans are known to use stars to navigate, but African dung beetles go one step further by using the old galaxy rather than individual stars to make sure they're travelling in a straight line. Scientists notice that the beetles are able to move their dung balls in a straight line when the sky is clear, but can't when it is overcast. They confirm their Milky Way hypothesis in a planetarium experiment. <laughs> a Mars-sized object probably crashed into Earth 4.5 billion years ago. This is the best idea we have for how the moon formed. The object would have chipped off a chunk of rock that became the moon and made Earth's axis tilt slightly. We are all made of stardust, apparently, this next fact says. After the Big Bang, tiny particles came together to make hydrogen and helium. Then, in the super dense and hot centres of stars, these elements fused together to make all the elements up to iron. Iron and anything heavier than it, like nickel and gold, must have been made in high energy reactions as a star exploded at the end of its life. The moon is farther away than you think. When the moon is at its farthest point of orbit from Earth, you could fit all of the planets in our solar system in the distance between Earth and the moon. And this distance is 384,400 kilometers. Now I've got some diameters for you. The diameter of the Earth is 12,742 kilometers. The diameter of Mercury is 4,879 kilometers. Venus, 12,104 kilometers. Mars, 6,771 kilometers. Jupiter, 139,822 kilometers. Saturn, 116,464 kilometers. Uranus, 50,724 kilometers. Neptune, 49,244 kilometers. And finally our moon, which is 3,474 kilometers. And then to add, the diameter of the sun is 1.391016 million kilometers. That's a diameter ten times larger than that of Jupiter, or 110 times the diameter of Earth. The sun is still growing. The sun will continue to burn for about 130 million years after it burns through all of its hydrogen, instead burning helium. During this time will expand to such a size that it will engulf Mercury, Venus and Earth. When it reaches this point, it will have become a red giant star. Once the Sun has completed its red giant phase, it will collapse. Its huge mass will be retained, but it will have a volume similar to that of Earth. When that happens, it will be known as a white The sun travels at about 220 kilometers per second. It's around 26,000 light years from the galactic 
epicenter and it takes the sun approximately 250 million years to complete one orbit at the center of the Milky Way. Now I'm going to take a look at some facts based on different planets and we're going to begin with Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. So, Mercury is named after the Roman god of merchants and travelers. Mercury does not have any moons or rings. Your weight on Mercury would be 38% of your weight on Earth. A day on the surface of Mercury lasts 176 Earth days. A year on Mercury takes 88 Earth days. Mercury has a diameter of 4,879 kilometers, making it the smallest planet. It's not known who discovered Mercury. And Mercury is only the second hottest planet. Moving now on to Venus. Venus, Venus. Venus is named after the Roman god of love. Venus is nearly as big as the Earth with a diameter of 12,104 kilometers. It is thought to be made up of a central iron core, rocky mantle and silicate crust. A day on the surface of Venus would appear to take 117 Earth days. A year on Venus takes 225 Earth days. The surface temperature on Venus can reach 471 degrees Celsius. Venus actually rotates in the opposite direction to most of the planets. And it is the second brightest object in the night sky. And now we move on to Mars. Mars is named after the Roman god of war. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Mars and Earth have approximately the same land mass. Mars is home to Olympus Mont, the tallest mountain in the solar system. Out of 14, only 18 missions to Mars have been successful, often lasting months and covering the entire planet. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system. On the planet, the sun appears about half the size as it does on Earth. Pieces of Mars have fallen to Earth, which has allowed scientists to study the planet before launching space missions. And there are signs of liquid more water on Mars. Next up, we've got Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter, Jupiter is named after the Roman god of light, or the king of all gods. Jupiter has 79 known moons, the largest of which, Ganymede, is the largest moon in the solar system. Jupiter's moons are named after Roman gods' wives and lovers. It is the fourth brightest object in the solar system. Jupiter has the shortest day of all the planets, with a day lasting only 9 hours and 55 minutes. Jupiter orbits the Sun once every 11.8 Earth years. It has unique clouds, made mostly out of ammonia crystals and sulfur. Jupiter's is red, great red spot is a huge storm that has raged for at least 350 years. It's so large that three Earths could fit inside it. The planet has a thin ring system composed mainly of dust particles ejected from some of Jupiter's smaller worlds during impacts from incoming comets and asteroids. A total of eight spacecraft have visited Jupiter. Next, Saturn, 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 
Saturn. Saturn is named after the Roman god of agriculture. Saturn has 150 moons and smaller moonlets, but only 13 of which have diameters larger than 50 kilometers. The largest moons are Titan and Rhea. Enceladus appears to have an ocean below its frozen surface. Saturn can be seen with the naked eye. It is also the flattest planet. Saturn orbits the Sun once every 29.4 Earth years. Saturn has oval-shaped storms similar to Jupiter's. It is made mostly of hydrogen. Saturn has the most extensive rings in the solar system, made mostly of junks of ice and small amounts of carbonaceous dust. The rings stretch out more than 120,700 kilometers from the planet, and only four spacecraft have visited Saturn. Next up is Uranus. Uranus is named after the Roman god of the sky. It has 27 moons, all of which are named after characters from the works of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. The day on Uranus lasts 17 hours and 14 minutes. It makes one trip around the sun every 84 Earth years, and is often referred to as an ice giant planet. Uranus hits the coldest temperatures of any planet, with minimum recorded atmospheric temperatures dropping to minus 224 degrees Celsius. Uranus has two sets of very thin dark coloured rings, and only one spaceship, the Voyager 2, has ever flown by Uranus, and that was in 1986. Now we have Neptune. Neptune, 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 Neptune is named after the Roman god of the sea. It has 14 moons, all of which are named after minor water gods from Greek mythology. Triton is by far the largest. Neptune spins on its axis very rapidly. Its equatorial clouds take 18 hours to make one rotation. Neptune is the smallest of the ice giants, and its atmosphere is mainly made of hydrogen and helium, with a bit of methane thrown in. It has a very active climate, with high-speed winds whipping around the planet at 600 meters per second. Neptune has a very thin collection of rings, which are likely made up of ice and dust particles, and only the Voyager 2 has ever flown by, and that was in 1989. And then finally, we're doing Pluto. And Pluto is named after the Roman god of the underworld. It was reclassified from a planet to a dwarf planet in 2006. And Pluto has five known moons, Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. It is one third water, and it is smaller than Earth's moon. Pluto has an elliptical orbit, and is at times closer to the sun than Neptune. It sometimes has an atmosphere. When it orbits closer to the sun, ice melts, creating a thin atmosphere. And only the New Horizons has ever flown. And that was on the 14th of July, 2015. So, moving on now to facts about the Milky Way. So, our solar system existing inside of a collection of solar systems called a solar neighborhood. A galaxy is made up of millions of these solar neighborhoods. Ours is inside of the Milky Way galaxy, which is just one of hundreds of millions, possibly billions of galaxies that make up the universe. A light year is a unit of measurement to measure distance. It is equivalent to the distance that light travels in one year. It takes light eight minutes to travel from the sun 
This moon is 33,279 miles in diameter. That's bigger than Mercury and it is actually visible with just a pair of binoculars. The Martian day is 24 hours, 39 minutes and 35 seconds long. Because Mars orbits the sun slower than the Earth, there are actually 687 Martian days in a Martian year. NASA's Crater Observation and Sensing Satellites found evidence of water on the Earth's moon. Whilst water cannot exist on the moon's surface under its current conditions, scientists believe water ice could survive within the cold, permanently shadowed crates at the moon's two poles. The sun makes a full rotation once every 25 to 35 days. For us on Earth, one full rotation equals one full day. However, our gargantuan sun takes 25 to 30 Earth days to make one full rotation. Earth is the only planet not named after a god. Nobody knows how the Earth got its name. All we know is that it is derived from an old amalgamation. Amalgamation both the Old English and Old Germanic words for ground. It is due to the Sun and Moon's gravitational pulls that we have tides. The Moon's tidal forces causes the Earth and the water on it to bulge out on the side closest to the Moon. These bulges are what cause the world's high tides. Blue Dome is actually smaller than the United States. If you were to walk around the equator of Pluto, it would be the same distance as walking from London to Denver, give or take about 56 miles. According to mathematics, white holes are possible. Although as of yet, we have found none. A white hole is a hypothetical region of space-time which can't be ended from the outside, although matter and light can escape from within, basically the reverse of a black hole. There are more volcanoes on Venus than any other planet in our solar system. There are more than 1,600 major volcanoes across the surface of Venus including a five-mile-high volcano called Mart Mons. However, none of these volcanoes are known to be erupting at present, and most probably are long extinct. Uranus's blue glow is due to the gases in its atmosphere. Its atmosphere is made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane. And the methane in the upper atmosphere filters out all of the red light from the sun, but reflects the sun's blue light back into space, giving it its blue appearance. In our solar system, there are four planets known as gas giants. These are Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. A gas giant is a, a large planet that is made up of mostly gases like hydrogen and helium and has only a relatively small rocky core. Uranus has 27 moons that have been discovered so far. Five large moons and 22 small ones. Because of its unique tilt, a season on Uranus is equivalent to 21 Earth years. Also, the 97.77 degrees tilt on Uranus's axis means that a day there only lasts 17 hours, 14 minutes and 24 seconds. Neptune's moon, Triton, orbits the planet backwards. Triton is the only large moon of any of the planets that does this. This is known as a retrograde orbit. And astronomers are unsure as to why Triton orbits Neptune this way. 
Triton is also gradually getting closer to the planet that it orbits. Scientists believe that when Triton eventually gets too close to Neptune, it'll be torn apart by the planet's gravity and could potentially create another ring around Neptune, giving it more rings than Saturn. nearly 165 Earth years to make one orbit of the Sun. That's equivalent to 60,190 Earth days to orbit the Sun once. Neptune has a very slow orbital speed of 3.37 miles per second. That means that since it was discovered in 1846, it has only completed just one orbit. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, is half the size of Pluto. The same surfaces of Charon and Pluto always face each other, which is known as mutual tidal locking. The International Space Station is the largest manned object ever sent into space. At 109 metres long, the ISS sits roughly 250 miles above the Earth and is the third brightest object in the night sky. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system. Due to its low density, it only has a weight roughly one-eighth of Earth. Any free-moving liquid in outer space will form itself into a sphere. This is because of something called surface tension, which is an imbalance of intermolecular attractive forces. Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are known as the inner planets. This is because they orbit the closest to the Sun. An inner planet is classified as a planet located within the asteroid belt. We know more about Mars and our moon than we do about our oceans. We have fully mapped 100% of the surface of Mars and Earth's moon, whereas we've only been able to map roughly 5% of the ocean floor. That is just hideous. <laughs> Absolutely hideous. The Black Arrow is the only British satellite to be launched using a British rocket. It was developed during the 1960s and was used for four launches between 1969 and 1971. In 2019, it was retrieved from its crash landing site in the Australian outback and put on display in Scotland. Only 5% of the universe is visible from Earth at any given moment. There are at least 2,000 thunderstorms happening on Earth. Worldwide, there are an estimated 16 million thunderstorms each year. The Earth's rotation is slowing slightly as time goes on. This means the days were shorter in the past. This is because of the tidal effects the moon has on the Earth's rotation. If you were driving at 75 miles per hour, it would take 258 days to drive around Saturn's rings. They're roughly 175,000 miles long, although they're only about 3,200 feet thick. Outer space is only 62 miles away. Although there's no official solid boundary for where space begins, the Kármán line sits at 62 miles above sea level and is conventionally used as the start of outer space in space treaties or for aerospace records keeping. The International Space Station circles Earth every 92 minutes. The speed of the ISS as it orbits Earth is roughly 17,150 miles per hour, equating to 5 miles a second. 
stars twinkle because of the way light is disrupted as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. It's also affected by the winds in our atmosphere as it enters, as well as being affected by different areas and temperatures. We always see the same side of the moon, no matter where we stand on Earth. This is because the moon rotates on its axis at the same rate that it rotates the Earth. It's known as synchronous rotation or tidal locking. There are approximately 100,000 million stars in the Milky Way. And out of all the known galaxies, the Milky Way is the one that contains the most stars. And using the naked eye, you can see three to seven different galaxies from Earth. You can see the Andromeda Galaxy M31, both Magellanic Clouds, or Magellanic Clouds, our own Milky Way Galaxy, the Triangulum Galaxy, the Omega Centauri, and the Sagittarius Dwarf Spheroidical Galaxy. <coughs> In 2016, scientists detected a radio signal from a source 5 billion light years away. This means that when the signal started its journey, Earth didn't even exist. The detected signals were located using the very large array of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory in New Mexico. I think I might have actually covered that in a, in a members video that went live yesterday, looking at if aliens are real. Feel free to become a member. Uh, the closest galaxy to us is the Andromeda Galaxy, and it's approximately 2.5 million light years away. The first supernovae observed outside of our own galaxy was in 1885. The supernova was called the S Andromedae, located in the Andromeda Galaxy. It was observed by Ernst Hartwig in Estonia and was only made possible due to the recent invention of the telescope. The first ever black hole photographed is three million times the size of Earth. The photo was released in April 2019 and shows a halo of dust and gas 310 million trillion miles from Earth. It was captured by the Event Horizon Telescope, a network of eight linked telescopes, and was also captured due to the algorithm of programmer Katie Bauman. The distance between the Sun and Earth is defined as an astronomical unit. An astronomical unit, or AU, equates to roughly 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers. The second man on the moon was Buzz Aldrin, and Moon was Aldrin's mother's maiden name. Buzz Aldrin's birth name was Edwin Eugene Aldrin Jr. He got the nickname Buzz from his sister's mispronunciation of the word brother, which became Buzzer. In 1988, he legally changed his first name to Buzz. On Venus, it snows metal and rains sulfuric acid. This is because Venus is a scorching planet choked with sulfuric acid, which causes the planet's metals to become gas and then liquid in the atmosphere. Before raining down to the ground after the freezing temperatures turn it into a solid. The Mariner 10 was the first spacecraft to visit Mercury. In 1974, it was launched at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in 1973 and flew by Venus three months later. It then crossed into Mercury's orbit, managing to photograph 45% of Mercury's surface. The second spacecraft to visit Mercury was the Messenger, which completed mapping of 100% of Mercury's surface in 2013. Space is completely 
silent. This is evidently because there is no air in space, and air is needed to carry sound vibrations. So if you shouted to someone next to you in space, they wouldn't be able to hear you. How's that for a fun space fact? Coca-Cola was the first commercial soft drink that was ever consumed in space. That's so boring. Like, of course it was going to be Coca-Cola. I wish it was something like, I don't know, a bit more niche. Like a juicy drop pop or like a penguin or something. I don't, I don't know. Slush puppy. The first food ever eaten in space was applesauce. Eaten by John Glenn in space during the Friendship 7 mission in 1962. Astronauts can grow approximately 2 inches in height when in space. This is due to the lack of gravity in space causing the discs between the vertebrae to expand a little bit. However, this extra height is lost when re-entering the Earth's atmosphere and being subjected to Earth's gravity again. The Kuiper, Kuiper, Kuiper Belt is a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. It's a ring of icy bodies and is where Pluto is located. The first woman in space was a Russian called Valentina Tereshkova. She launched into both space and history during the Vostok 6 mission on June 16, 1963. She spent almost three days in space and orbited the Earth 48 times in a capsule before returning. If Saturn's rings were three feet long, they would be 10,000 times thinner than a razor blade. The Hubble Space Telescope is one of the most productive scientific instruments ever built. Astronomers using Hubble data have published more than 15,000 scientific papers. These papers have been cited in other papers 738,000 times. The first artificial satellite in space was called Sputnik. It was launched by the Soviet Union into an elliptical low Earth orbit on 4th of October 1957. Exoplanets are planets that orbit around other stars. All of the planets in our solar system orbit around the Sun, but what about other solar systems? In 2009, NASA launched a spacecraft called Kepler to look for exoplanets and has discovered thousands since its launch. The center of the Milky Way smells like rum and tastes like raspberries. How on earth would they know that? Well, it's gonna tell me. This was discovered by the IRAM radio telescope, zeroed in on a gas cloud called Sagittarius B2 at the center of our galaxy. IRAM detected a chemical called ethyl formate, which gives rum its distinct smell and raspberries their distinct flavour. Fair enough. That's a fair enough explanation, I'll accept it. Our moon is moving away from Earth at a rate of 1.6 inches per year. Scientists do believe that eventually the moon will move out of the field of Earth's gravity but this won't happen for billions of years to come. Pluto is named after the Roman god of the underworld, not the Disney dog. Who would, who would think it was named after the Disney dog? Spacesuit helmets have a Velcro patch to help astronauts itch. <laughs> the ISS is visible to more than 90% of the Earth's population. It appears as a fast-moving star crossing from horizon to horizon. Saturn is the only planet that could float in water. Although 
is the second largest planet in the solar system, it's also the lightest planet. Asteroids are the byproducts of formations in the solar system more than 4 billion years ago. The birth of Jupiter in our solar system prevented any planetary bodies forming between Mars and Jupiter, causing the small objects that were there to collide with each other and fragment into asteroids. Astronauts can't burp in space. This is because the lack of gravity in space means the air in astronauts' stomach doesn't separate and rise up from ingested food. Uranus was originally called George's Star. The name was in honour of discoverer William Herschel's new patron, King George III. The name Uranus was proposed in 1782, one year after its discovery, but wasn't actually officially used until 1850. A sunset on Mars is blue. Mars has less than 1% of the Earth's atmosphere. The Earth weighs about 81 times more than the Moon. The first living mammal to go into space was a dog named Cosmo. No, it was a dog named Laika from Russia. Laika was a stray mongrel from the streets of Moscow and was launched into space on the Soviet spacecraft Sputnik 2. On November 3rd, 1957, sadly Laika died five to seven hours into the flight due to overheating and stress. That's so sad. The word astronaut means star sailor in its origins. It's derived from the Greek words astron meaning star and nought meaning sailor. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It is an independent agency of the United States federal government and was established in 1958. Gennady Badalka has spent more time in space than anybody else. He is an RKA cosmonaut and has spent 879 days in space. He has worked on both Mir and the International Space Station. Mercury has no atmosphere, which means there is no wind or weather. Instead of an atmosphere, Mercury possesses a thin exosphere made of atoms blasted off the surface by the solar wind and striking meteoroids. In China, the Milky Way is known as the Silver River. Red dwarf stars that are low in mass can burn continually for up to 10 trillion years. A red dwarf is a small and cool star in a later stage of its life and has a surface temperature of less than 72, no, 7200K degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists once believed that the same side of Mercury always faced the Sun. However, in 1965, astronomers discovered that the planet rotates three times during every two orbits it makes. Jupiter's red spot is shrinking. Jupiter's red spot is a huge swirling hurricane-like storm that used to be three times the size of Earth. However, the storm is shrinking over time, but even as it shrinks, it gets taller. Is that shrinking then? Scientists are still stumped as to what's causing this, although they believe it may be to do with jet streams on Jupiter changing location or direction. A large percentage of asteroids are pulled in by Jupiter's gravity. For this reason, Jupiter is known as the dumping grounds for our solar system. Many of the asteroids that are potentially harmful to Earth, long-period comets, tend to be 
sucked into Jupiter's gravity field. Thanks, Jupiter. As space has no gravity, bends won't work. Normal bends work by gravity pulling the ink towards the pen's nib. As you hold the pen in your hand, writing part facing downwards. <coughs> As there's no gravity in space, the ink doesn't get pulled to the nib. However, special pens have been made that work in zero gravity. On average, it takes the light only 1.3 seconds to travel from the moon to Earth. There are 88 recognised star constellations in our night sky. The centre of a comet is called a nucleus. As early as 240 BC, the Chinese began to document the appearance of Halley's Comet. And the final fact is, Mars is the most likely planet in our solar system to be hospitable to life. And that everybody is going to do it for tonight's fact video, as there's loads of creaking upstairs to lovingly end this video. But I really hope you did enjoy, hopefully you learned something new, or managed to get some rest and some sleep. Feel free to leave comments down below for any fat videos you would like to see in the future. But that is going to do it for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. If you're able to, please leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new.